What does calcium do in swimming pool water? This is something that comes up sometimes. You know, first of all, if you have a concrete swimming pool, you're going to read right away about how you need to have a certain level of calcium in the water. If you don't provide that level of calcium, the water will attempt to find its own source and it will start to leach that from the the concrete itself and any metals like a like a, a ladder, a stainless steel ladder railing or something like that in the water. And you'll start to notice mineral deposits and etching and things like that and essentially damage to the interior surface of the pool because you failed to provide it with the basic parameters for water balance that the water wanted. Now, what does that mean in other pools? You know, well, I don't have a concrete pool, so do I need calcium in my water? And that's kind of the question that I think that this is getting at because I think that that's something that I see pretty often. I have a vinyl liner pool. Why do I need calcium? There is there is no concrete for the you know cal or the water to etch looking for calcium. So here's the thing. There's something called saturation index, and that's what we use in the, the you know the aquatics industry to determine the state of the water and what you need to appreciate is that the water could be in one of three states it could be in an alkaline state state or otherwise a scaling state it could be in an acidic state or it could be a neutral state and the neutral state is what you want to achieve in swimming pool water because this will prevent, you know, like we were just talking about where the water will attempt to find its own balance by stealing minerals from other parts of your pool. The water wasn't in a neutral state. It was hunting for something. It was looking for something to satisfy a balance equation. If you appreciate saturation index, you understand that calcium is one of the parameters considered here and failure to provide enough calcium very likely is going to end up putting your pool into an acidic state as opposed to a neutral or scaling state. Uh, the scaling state you don't want to be in as well, but nor do you want to be in an acidic state where you could be creating a long-term damaging environment. Now, this isn't something that, oh, immediately over the course of the weekend, look at all this damage that happened. But over five years, 10 years, certainly over the lifetime of swimming pool ownership, you definitely want to strive to achieve to maintain your water balance in a neutral state. And calcium hardness is one of the parameters that you consider when you're calculating saturation index. And further to that, if we just kind of extrapolate and imagine a situation where you don't have any calcium in your water, you filled from a soft water source, so there's zero calcium hardness in the water. If you have very, very soft water, you've probably experienced this for yourself, and you go to wash your hands with some soap, there's a huge amount of bubbles and foam and suds and things like that. Something that you specifically don't get from hard water sources like if you've ever done that same thing wash your hands with soap from a hard water supply like a rural well or something like that then despite all your efforts you can hardly get any suds any lather at all that's significant if you're in a swimming pool or hot tub environment because when you get in the water you have detergents attached to you you've got soap in your hair and attached to your swim trunks and things like that and these levels add up in the pool. And if you had zero calcium hardness in your water, it's very likely before long, you're going to have a lot of undesirable foam and suds in your water. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.